Hello, you guys. So listen, before we actually get started on today's workout, I want to go through um, just a few like warm-up exercises that I like to do um, with my clients or even for myself, depending on what kind of workout I'm going to be doing. And since today is a full body workout day, um, we are going to warm up everything from here to our toes. <laughs> so um, we're just going to go through a couple of exercises. Again, there's no reason to like overexert yourself. It is just a warm up and it is just to kind of get your body ready, loose, warm, and your heart rate up just a little bit. So that way you will be prepared um, for today's workout. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with butt kicks. So what I like to do is put my hands on my hips and kind of just kick your booty. So we want to keep the body upright, eyes are forward, the knees need to be kind of facing down, and you are landing on the balls of your feet, not flat footed. A few more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So again, those are called butt kicks. Now the next exercise um, are high knees. If you have space um, in your living room or wherever you are uh, right now to kind of move and travel during the uh, mountain climbers, that um, is preferable. But if not, these can be done stationary. I'm actually gonna get to the five of my carpet here and I'm going to do high knees just back and forth. Now with the high knees we want to try to get the knees up to the hip okay so not here but as always you do what you can um, but the more that you can get the movement from here to here the more uh, flexibility you will develop in your hip flexors. So here we go high knees Again, hands are on hips, eyes are forward. If you want to do stationary, same thing, keeping the knees up high, body is leaned back just a little bit. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. So, one more exercise. And as you can see, I am already a little bit winded, <laughs> which is totally fine. I don't do a lot of cardio, so for me, it doesn't take much to get winded anyway. <laughs> um, so there's two different variations of um, the jumping jack for today. Um, instead of just the traditional, which is totally fine. Since we are gonna be doing a lot of leg movement today, I'm gonna actually put my hands up here and just go in and out with my feet. So just a slight bend in the knee. Now if you want to incorporate the uh, arms and the upper body, it's a good old regular jumping jack. Three, two, one, and done. So again, these are just a few warm-up exercises that you can do prior to any workout that you um, are going to be doing. And um, they're easy, they're effective, and of course you can do them anywhere. So um, I would just do them for like 20 or 30 seconds at a time. Give yourself enough rest time to get your heart rate down just a little bit before you actually start your workout. Thanks you guys. Welcome back you guys. It's Miranda with Golf Squad Fitness. So today's workout is going to be fast paced, full body hit. So that's high intensity. We are going to do each exercise today for 30 seconds of work time with 15 seconds rest. As always, you take the extra time when needed. 
Remember, it is a video, so don't be afraid to just hit that pause button, get you an extra breath or two in there, and then hit play and get ready to finish out strong. So I'm gonna go through each exercise really quick um, and demonstrate them so you know what, what to expect when we get started. The first one, our frog hops. So we're gonna get down here, super low to the ground. If you cannot get this low, if you're not that flexible in your hips, Right here is totally fine. The full movement is from here, and we are just starting and ending in this position. So make sure that you keep your chest open here and you're not leaning forward. The next exercise are in and out with a pulse squat. So I'm gonna turn sideways for you to see this. So we're gonna start with our feet together. Out, in, pulse, pulse. Now, if you'll notice here on the pulse squat, I'm not leaning here. So I'm sitting back into my hips. My feet are still about shoulder width apart. I'll go down, repeat the movement, two pulse squats at the top, and repeat. The last one are plank rocks. Now, these can be done on the elbows or on the hands. It's more challenging to, to do them on your elbows so that's what I will be demonstrating today. Elbows are gonna be under the shoulders, feet slightly apart, and you're rocking just back and forth, keeping that body nice and tight. So on those, there should be no up and down movement with your hips. Your body should be straight like a board, and you're just pushing back and forth off of the balls of your feet. All right, you guys, here we go. 30 seconds, 15 second break between each exercise. Round one. All right, here we go. Frog hops in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, keep that booty down. I should be forward. Knees are wide, soft landing. Halfway there, little reach at the top. If you can touch the floor, great. If not, that's okay too. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! Okay, in and out with two pulse squats at the top. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, rest. 
two, rest. In and out with a pulse squat at the top. Exercise is a side hop 
and burpees. So you will need a little bit of space for this. I'm gonna start on the edge of my carpet here. Let me back up so you can see me. And when I say go, you're gonna hop all the way down, landing, and that squat. And this is a belly flop burpee, so you are going all the way to the floor here. From here down should be making contact with the carpet every time. And make sure, as always, you are landing with your knees bent. And the last one, it is a floor push-up with four mountain climbers. So you're gonna start here all the way down. Okay, so what's great about floor push-ups is it forces you to have to push up your body weight. So if you are weak in push-ups, um, weak up here in your shoulders, Floor push-ups are a great way for you to gain strength in your shoulders to where you can kind of build up to doing regular push-ups. And of course, you can always do the push-ups on the knees as well. So, this is gonna be your starting position. Your hands need to be here in line with your chest. When I say go, you're going to push your body up and perform four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, repeat. Okay, let me show you from the side. So this is your starting position here. You're gonna push up, one, two, three, four, and back down, repeat. Now something that I do wanna add here, you don't want to push up here like a seal position and then move up off the floor. If you can help it, if you can move your, uh, your entire body up together, that will be better for the lower back. All right, here we go, starting with wide high knees. Again, you've got 30 seconds. Feet, shoulder width apart, and three, two, one, let's go. I know you probably feel kind of silly doing this. I did too, but it's good. It works your core and your legs. And you get a little shoulder action. And also, of course, your heart. Three, two, one, rest. Side hot burpees. Make sure you create a little space here. Can start on the floor. Three, two, one, go. Try to cover as much ground on that side hop as you can.
three, two, one. Rest. Woo. Today is kicking my butt. Five hot burpees on the floor. Two, one, let's go.
and I want you to try to make that connection elbow to knee. So we're crossing over the body, that way we're working some of our core. The second exercise, you're gonna be on your elbows. We face forward here. In a plank position, and you're just gonna punch forward here to here. Now we wanna to try to keep our hips from tilting too much. And when you do that, that means that you are relaxing your core. So we wanna keep that core nice and tight and just try to move with the arms going forward. And lastly, another core exercise. These are toe touches, one of my favorites. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your shoulders all the way back, legs are up, toes are facing you, and you're gonna try to reach up and touch your toes, okay? So if you'll notice that my shoulder blade is up off of the carpet, and um, you can reset here and reach and reset back every rep, but if you can, try to keep your shoulder blades off of your mat or off of your floor every rep. Now, I will say that a lot of people um, complain about feeling it in their neck or here in their traps. Yes, you are going to be feeling it that way there, and you are working that area, but when you are doing core work, if you can zone in and focus on targeting just that core area, it should keep you from pulling and feeling it in your traps and in your neck. But as always, if you start to have any pain here, you can always reset, like I showed, and do each rep from the floor up to the toes. All right, hey, here you go. We've got last round, 30 seconds of each exercise, but we are doing it back to back to back with no rest. Here we go, starting with squats and that knee drive across the body. And go. Try to make that connection, elbow to knee. I should be forward, sit into your hips, 10 seconds. And down, on the elbows, punches.
Touch as high as you can. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Done! Woo! Good job, my friends. Okay, that one today totally kicked my butt. <laughs> Um, I probably shouldn't have worked out before I did this for you guys, but we made it through like we always do. And as always, it's totally worth it in the end, if you can survive. Um, so as always, I want to say thank you for coming in and checking out my channel. This is something new for me and I am trying to grow it. Um, so I do appreciate the subscriptions and the likes and a few of the comments that I've received. It's all been great, positive feedback. Um, so, as always, like this video if you actually liked it, leave a nice comment if you wish to do so, and if you don't have your notifications on, make sure you turn those on after this video, that way you know when a new video is uploaded and ready for you uh, to use. I will be posting more frequently this coming up week because I still am in quarantine. So again, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for checking me out. And you can follow me on Instagram, fitforlife83. And you can also follow me on Facebook. Peace.